when you get into keeping reptiles, commands specifically, you will also get into plants. And in front of me, I have this big box right here, just full of plants. This is my most recent order from Josh's Frogs, full of live plants to go inside of my command enclosure. And I love getting ideas and inspiration from other keepers on what plants they use. I'm gonna walk you guys through what I've ordered to put inside of my command enclosures. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So this is a big box. Can you see how big this is? This is just live plants and I am so, so excited. I will say when I received the box, it was on its side. So I'm a little nervous about uh, the condition of the plants and the amount of soil that's gonna end up on my floor. But without further ado, let's cut this open and see what's inside. So we have my handy dandy knife. Let's slice this bad boy open. I'm gonna say real quick, one of my pet peeves with unboxing videos is when you can tell they've already opened it and then they like tape it closed or pretend like it's closed, but I'm like, I know and you know you've already opened this. This is sealed, okay? I haven't opened it. This is a true unboxing. So let's see what's inside. We've got a packing list, which I'm going to use to try and figure out which one of these plants is what. Uh, looks like they also have some plant care guides, so that's nice of them to send that. Okay, so this is what it looks like inside. I'm gonna try to show you guys. So it looks like they're packaged really well, despite this box being toppled all over. It looks like each plant is individually wrapped. So let's just start from the top and work our way through it. I'm gonna say I am not a plant expert by any means, which means two things. One, I'm not necessarily gonna recognize what this plant is. And two, I will for sure butcher the pronunciation of pretty much all of these because they give them the scientific names. Okay, there's this little guy. So this is super cool. Um, I've ordered from Josh's Frogs before. In fact, I've done another plant unboxing video, which you can check that out right up above here. But last time they didn't do plastic around it. They just did the you know little containers with tape on the soil so this is actually pretty cool um i don't know how this is turning up with the ring light so i'm just going to try and unbox this quickly okay there we go this is a i believe a little swiss leaf monstera um so they they send them pretty small which is great because then they obviously can ship very well but this isn't gonna take up a whole lot of room inside my camera enclosure. So as you can see, I've got a couple big ones already inside there. Those I picked up from my local Home Depot. If you wanna check out that video, I'll link that above here for you. But these are great to have those smaller plants to fill in that will eventually grow inside your enclosure. So yeah, there's one. One down, a lot more to go. Okay, this one. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a, a Cala, Calathea, I think, maybe. I'm gonna play a, a guessing game. You can guess, if you're a plant person, like you can guess what you think it is and then you can put the name of what they are actually on the screen. So there's this little guy, he's cool. He's got um, little white colored stripes. I don't know, I'm a sucker for stripes. Stripes and polka dots, <laughs> I'm a sucker for. So I tried to pick out ones that had cool patterns, but there's that little guy. All the plants that I have picked out, I made like triple check were safe for a chameleon. And the way that I do that is I typically will go to chameleonforms.com or Chameleon Academy and I will look up on there um, the name of the plant. And if I can't find any information on it, then I just don't use it. If I can find information on it and someone has experience using it with their chameleon, then I'll definitely use it. Um, but the thing is like chameleons will eat live plants and we don't know necessarily which ones are toxic, but we have other people who have used them and their commands have eaten them and they're fine. So we use that judgment to then use them for our commands, but it's all calculated risk, right? I think this might be the Polonia Poultra watermelon, maybe is what this one is. 
But look how cute. This will grow nicely and have good leaves and vines on it. Oh, this is the Calathea. Look at that guy. Okay, let's open him up. I don't know why I always refer to plants as like he and him, but maybe this is a, like, a little lady plant. Look at that. So it's got like purple underneath and then a little squiggly. Again, I told you I'm a sucker for the spots and stripes. So this is for sure the Calathea. I think this is the, the rattlesnake pattern. Don't quote me on that. But isn't that one super cool? I'm s this is one of my all time favorites. And I'll be honest, I had one before and it may or may not have not made it. Uh, don't have the greenest of thumbs. I have like a, a pale green thumb, you know? And I just wanna give a quick shout out to Josh's Frogs for sponsoring this video and for sending these to me. This is super awesome of them to do this. Oh, okay, you guys gotta know what this one is. 10 points for anyone who knows the name of this guy. This is the creme de la creme pothos plant, which is my number one plant for a chameleon. Check that guy out. So easy to grow. I know I definitely ordered three of these, so there might be some repeats, but there you go, pothos. Love, love, love these guys. Next we have this little guy. What is on here? These are cool. They're kind of like, they almost feel a little like rubbery, velvety. Check that guy out. That one's wicked cool. And this is like a decent size. I thought this one would be smaller. But it's got like little pinks in there. With like in the little stripey guys. Super cool. All right, we got a lot more to go. Oh, another pothos. There we go. Two down, one to go, a classic. Oh, and right next to it, the third pothos. I think this one also might be a philodendron. I don't know, we'll see how many of these I actually get right. This one's wicked, wicked cool. So that's got like two tones of green on there and like it even has some new leaves growing. I think this one will really grow like super viney, which is totally what we're looking for with the chameleon. I strategically pick stuff that would either provide coverage or things to climb on. Um, Josh's frogs isn't gonna necessarily have like big old like tree trunks that you can throw in there, but they will have all the novelty stuff like this that's super cool. That can give you those pops of colors that are a little bit more unique and a lot of fun for your chameleon. And you can see like the containers that they come in are pretty small. So I'll be repotting these into larger pots and then just make sure you're using organic potting soil when you put those into your chameleon enclosure. And then if your chameleon has a, a tendency to eat soil, then you can put large river rocks on top of that. I don't know what this one is. He's kind of funky looking. You guys see? We'll call this one a her. See her? They want like um, thicker, sturdier leaves, but definitely look something like that'll be viney. And little baby sprouts are all fuzzy and cute. I like that one a lot. I'll have to give you guys an update video. You know, once these are all in the enclosures and like have some time to grow. I often get asked um, tips for keeping plants alive in a chameleon an enclosure. And there's, there's kind of a couple things. One is to make sure you're using plants that will do well in a chameleon enclosure. We've got heat at the top, not a lot of light at the bottom and lots of water constantly going inside of the enclosure. So we need to make sure we're picking plants that are durable and will fit those conditions. That's step one. And two is that I love using a plant LED bar. There's tons of different options out there. The one that I use is the Arcadia Jungle Dawn. I've had mine for over a year now. It's still kicking, it's still doing great and my plants have thrived using that. So those are my two big, two big tips. No idea what this is, but it's got these little, um, Leaves are that funky shape that I think are super cool. Nice little fluffy guy. Yeah, just another plant option. And feel free to check these out over at Josh's Frogs. Like, 
I triple checked, I swear, all of these plants. And if you know anything about these plants that I don't know, feel free to let me know in the comments, but I'm pretty confident that these are all safe to use, so feel free to use them with your chameleon. Oh, okay, okay. I recognize this one. It starts with a D. Let me look at my list. Uh, Jerkania? Jerkania? I'm convinced if you say it with confidence, then people are more likely to believe you. So we're just gonna go with Jerkania. And I'll put it <laughs> on the screen there. Um, but this one, I was, I was back and forth on, honestly, whether or not to get this one because it's not super viney, but like everyone on the chameleon forms was raving about using these and loving them inside their chameleon enclosures, and I was like, what the heck? Let's just try it, see what happens. But I'm also a sucker for pinstripes or any sort of contrast. So this one has, um, you can see that, like kind of the, the white stripes going down that, which I think is super pretty. So, there's that guy. I'm excited, and this is a bigger one, right? This is like a four inch pot, so it's already, a little further along than the little guys. Okay. Oh, we're getting to the big guys now. All right, try not to break it. So far, all of these have sh shipped super well, so shout out to whoever packed my order. This is the um, same kind of plant as the one we just opened, but slightly different coloration. So yeah, you can see it's similar style, but it's got um, green and light green stripies, which I think will be super complimentary sitting next to that other one. So like you can see this isn't super climbable, right? Like this isn't gonna hold the weight of your chameleon, but my thought is that it'll provide some coverage and kind of fill out the bottom of the enclosure. So I'll keep you posted on how it does. And we have two more to go. That one looks big and this one looks smaller. So we'll do this. Okay, I think this is also a philodendron. Totally guessing. <laughs> Don't know. But this one's cool. Another viney one. Contrasting greens. Like I, I tried to pick ones that would look good together, right? But then still have their own like personalities and flair to them. So there's that guy. And then one more to go. Alrighty. Oh, 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 this is the biggest one. I have no idea what it is, honestly. So I, guess, I don't know the names of any of these. Oh boy. Wow, look at that. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, and it's got a little, new little um leaf about to sprout out there. Yeah, so this is pinks all the way through the stems and then it even has pinks into the, the veins of the leaves. Wow, this one was definitely a good one to end on. So there you guys have it. Those are all the plants I ordered from Joshua's Frogs. Thank you again to the Joshua's Frogs team for sending these to me. I'm so excited to put them inside the chameleon enclosures. If you guys want, feel free to check out my plant playlist where I've been posting videos on what plants to use, how to set them up, how to attach them inside your enclosure, all that good stuff. I've compiled them into one single playlist for you guys. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave me any questions or comments down below. Let me know what plants you like to use for your command enclosure. I would love to know. Otherwise, you can follow Neptune and all my commands on social media at Neptune the Chameleon. Feel free to check me out. TikTok, Instagram, all that good stuff. I'm posting daily videos over there. Otherwise, down in the description box, you can always check out my discount links, Patreon merch, and video consulting that is always available for you guys. Otherwise, Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Already. So feel free, feel free to check those out. You're so cool. Ooh, spilled some dirt.